Hello everyone. My name is Asim Singhal. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today I'm going to tell you how I use NACPY. So the name of the library is NACPY. And basically, why do I use it? Because using this, I can get important information regarding VIX or uh, PE ratio, PB ratio, dividend yield. In fact, I can even get the value of options. So let's start with that. So the the library that I'm going to use is NACPY. And the first thing we have to do is obviously we'll have to install the library. So for that, we'll do pip install NACPY. Let's wait. It's already installed for me, so it shouldn't take much time. Um, next, we'll be importing this NACPY as NAC and uh, we'll also be requiring date time and the first thing we want to do is we want to get the history we want to get the history of let's say Infosys so how to do that so stock price is equal to NAC dot get history open bracket you give in the symbol so symbol is equal to in fee comma we want the index to be false and then we have to give the start time in the end time so let's say start is equal to date 2023 1 comma 1 and the end time is date 2023 let's say 3 comma 15 so the format is y y y y m d d and let's then print it out And this is how you see the entire data of Infosys. Um, it is showing you the in entire historical data since uh, 1st January 2023. It will give you the open high low close. In fact, it will also give you the VWAP, the volume, what was the total turnover, total number of trades. So all the information that you might need, it's given um, in a very good tabular format. Um, can be very useful if you're doing any of your analysis. And similarly, I can find the data for uh, Nifty. So for that, let's just copy this. Um, I'll just change the variable. Let's call it um, index price. And in this time, I'll not be using infi. I'll be using nifty. And let's make this true because this is an index. Since so it's an index, uh, index I'll, I'll have to mention that index is equal to true. And let's print it out. And once we print it out, this is what we get. This is what we get. We've got the results of uh, Nifty this time. Great. So let's see what are the next things we can also get. Very similarly, we can also get the value of VIX. So VIX in this uh, library is considered an index. So what I'll be doing is let me just again copy paste the same code here. And this time I'll be getting the value of VIX, so volatility, uh, uh, volatility index. So let's call it VIX. And this time the symbol that you have to use is India VIX. Again, this is an index, so I'll, I'll put the index as true. And let's print it out and see how do we get the value of VIX. And there you go, you, you get the value of VIX very easily. And uh, we can even get it for more, more time data frame. And then we can download it and save it and um, do all our analysis very easily. The next thing we want to get is, let's say, the put uh, by the the price by uh, equity or the PB ratio or the dividend yield. So to get PE ratio, PB ratio or the dividend yield, um, what we'll be doing is, let's say, Nifty underscore PE is equal to NSE dot get index underscore PE underscore history. So that's the function and this time I'll have to put the symbol as nifty and all I have to do is put the start date and the end date. So again, let's do it 2023 1 comma 1 and the end date being 2023 3 comma 15 and let's print it out. And once you print this out, you'll get 
the PE ratio, the PB ratio and the dividend yield. And we can clearly see how the PE and the PB ratio have been for the um, for the last three months, but you can also do it for the entire few years. Um, similarly, I can use the same library to get the USD INR or, or the Forex results. So to get the results for currency, what I'll be doing is let's say Forex is equal to NSE.get RBI ref history. So that's the name of the function. And in this time, I just have to put the start time and the end time. So start is equal to date, comma, end is equal to date. Twenty twenty three, three comma fifteen. I think I have an extra. Okay, should be fine. Let's print it out. Is there a mistake here? Let's see if I made a mistake. Yes, there's a mistake here. I'll have to do this, and now it should work out. Let's print, and we have got our result for forex as well. So we can see what has been the value of rupee in for one USD, one GBP, one Euro and 100 Yen, the most common um, foreign currencies. So all these are very important functions. But now let's try to see if we can get the entire BHAV copy. So if we can get the entire BHAV copy. So to get BHAV copy, we'll be using these functions. So BHAV copy is equal to nse.history.get underscore price underscore list and all I have to put is the date. So my date is equal to date of 2023, 3 comma 15. And let's print out half copy. So you can see here now it is printing out the entire half copy for that particular day. So it is showing all the stocks um, in, in NSE. Um, along with the series, so this is the EQ series. It is giving you the OHLC. It is also giving you the total quantity and the total volume and the total trades that have been taken and the finally the ISN number. Very important. And you can run a for loop to get the BAF copy for different days and you can save it in your CSV files for any kind of future analysis. Similarly, we can also get the holidays. So if you want to get the holidays, this is the way we will do it. Holidays is equal to nse.live dot get underscore holidays um, I think holidays underscore list I think that's the one and all we have to put is the date 2023 let's say 1 comma 1 till 2023 3 comma 15 so we'll just see what all holidays are there between these two time frames and once we do that we'll get the two holidays one is on one is on 26th and the seventh and which is the Republic Day and the Holy. And finally, let's get the entire data. So now we'll let's try to get the entire data of a particular stock. And so in this, I'm going to use quote is equal to NSE dot live get quote. And I just have to pass the symbol here. So let's say symbol is equal to infi and let's print it out. And now it will give me the entire information of that particular stock. So again, all the information that you might need, what is the full name, what has been the, the high price, what has been the low price, how much volume has been traded, what is a dividend paid here. So all the different amount of things you can get about infi is mentioned here. Um, let's quickly use this now. So I'll be using this to probably make it in a better format. So what I'll do is I'll import pandas and I'm just putting the data in a more structural format. So once I run this, you can see that now it is in a better format, much easier to understand. And we can similarly, we can also access future data. now. So whatever future you are looking for, you can get future data as well using this library. So NSE dot get history. Open packet. Let's say our symbol is SBIN. I'll put the start date. I'll also put the end date. 
then I have to say that my index is false because SBI is not an index. I have to give another parameter here futures is equal to true so that it knows that I'm talking about futures and I have to tell the expiry date so expiry underscore date is equal to date and I'll put the expiry date as 2023 to 23 which is the February expiry monthly expiry. Let me see if I've added extra okay and let's print it out and see what happens. Great. So we have got the SBI and this is the OHLC of the future. Now it even tells you how many contracts were traded. What was the OI especially and what is the change in OI. So you can use this very easily to trade your um, future strategies. So whenever you have a future strategy and you might want the data, this will give you a snapshot of any future that you're looking for. And similarly, I can get the future data for index, let's say for uh, Nifty. So all I have to do is let me just copy this. So I'll just change the symbol to Nifty and I'll change the index to true because this is an index. Let's run it. And here we have the index uh, Nifty's future data along with all the information. And finally, let's also see how to we get the expiry dates. So if I if we want to get, let's say, different expiry dates, how do we do that? So expiry dates is equal to nse.derivatives dot get expiry date and all I have to pass is which year I'm talking about. So that's 2023 and the month which is two and let's say expiry dates. So it is giving me all the expiry dates. Now you must be wondering why there are so many expiries because now this is talking about weekly expiries. This is talking about weekly expiries and since we have weekly expiries on both Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, for fin nifty and nifty and bank nifty that's why it's giving you so many data points and finally let's see how do we get the options data for that stock options is equal to nse dot get underscore history we'll put in the symbol let's say svin start date end date Um, we'll put in that in index is equal to false. This is not an index. Um, we'll put the option type. So in this case, my option is a CE, let's say. And again, the strike price for which I'm looking to get the data for, let's say 500 and the expiry date. And I have to give the, let's say I can, I give the monthly expiry and stock option and I'm getting the entire result for this the option now. So essentially let me also show you what do we like what data I'm getting here. So if you go to your Google Chrome and if you press uh, nifty historical option data you will get the first link. So whatever information was present here. So this is where we can get the index futures, the index options and the VIX. So all the information which is present here, we have been able to get it di directly using Python. So that's the first thing that we have done. Um, similarly, if, the, if it's stock options or index options, we have already seen that. And the second thing that we have done is we have got the historical VIX data. So let me show you that. If I want to get India VIX, this is how I get India VIX. So I've been able to get this also using uh, the Python. We can also get the PE and the PB values. So let me just show you that also historical PE PB data. So I think they've changed the, the link, but I used to get historical PE and PB data one second. Right. So I think they have changed probably just they have changed the, the URL, but we have been able to get that. And um, that's how you use the NSCPY, 
very important library able to give you a lot of information very quickly so if you like the video um, please like the video and uh, subscribe to it subscribe to the channel so that you keep getting such videos in the futures also thank you